Okay, so the last part is similar triangles. So not only do we have triangles by their sides, triangles characterized by their angles, and a fun formula called the Pythagorean Theorem, there's also similar triangles. And that really comes from those famous triangles, right? I said, oh, if you just take the length of the legs and multiply it by a number, just multiply all the edges by that same number, and you get like a larger or smaller triangle, but still proportional, right? That, those famous triangles are the basis for a similar triangle. So again, reminding you of these famous triangles up here, where I said you could take a three, four, five, for example, and multiply any edge, any number, all the edges by any number. The first one was times two. So three times two is six, three times, I'm sorry, four times two is eight, and five times two is 10. And then you get this larger length of edges but yet still proportional to the original famous three, four, five. And we could multiply the edges by seven, right? And get the 21, 28, 35. But it, notice that would be a much larger length of a triangle, but yet still proportional to this famous three, four, five, right? That's why they're so famous. So when we come to similar triangles, we're already kind of familiar with that then, because that's like saying exactly what I'm saying is that if two angles, I mean, two triangles are gonna be proportional, that means everything's proportional. We just have to set up the proportion. And remember, there's two ways to set up a proportion. There is a proportion either is by, remember there's two fractions. So you either do it by category right, or units. So you either, in this case, will do it by triangle, like triangle one, triangle two that are similar, or leg A here and leg B here, and then find the unknown leg, okay? So, but the, the similar triangles are just two triangles that are similar, that means that proportional, and we just set up the proportion by, tri I do it by triangle, and I'll show you in my example, and then we just solve for the missing leg. So for example, if I had these two down here, notice I have two triangles that are similar. The, the vertexes are both 90 degrees. And here I have this bottom leg, bottom leg, hypotenuse, hypotenuse. So I could either do the first fraction by hypotenuse and, let, and the second fraction by leg and find the missing one, or I can do it by triangle one equal to the triangle two and get the missing. So it's just up to you. So I usually do it here by triangle because I put equals in between the triangles and then I set it up as 66 feet per 42 feet equal to the hypotenuse x feet per 35 feet. And then you can just solve for the missing um, dimension. So this one will be, again, cross multiplying. We get 66 times 35 equal to 42x, and therefore x is equal to 66 times 35 divided by 42. So once again, we don't want to really waste our time with the algebra part. Recall, this is something we want to just take with us. And we're not going to really do algebra like in a construction site or the hardware store, right? We're going to just do it quickly in a calculator. So notice I'm not going to simplify and do much of the um, algebra part, but I just know that no matter what, I'm going to always multiply 66 by 35 and then divide by that 42. and then I get 55. So that hypotenuse that is missing is 55 feet. And we were given an X, so we can leave our answer like this. And then just to note, like the other way we can do it, remember is not by category, but by, by lengths. So I can put the hypotenuse in one side and then equal to the leg dimensions on the other and then across do category. So I could have done like 66 feet per X feet equal to the legs, which is 42 feet per 35 feet. 
And then you'll notice that we cross multiply the same and divide by the same numbers. So no matter what, x is equal to um, 66 times 35 and then divided by 42. So no matter what, we still get the same dimension of 55 feet. Okay, so let's try one more. So these are, we can see that these are obtuse um, triangles, but we can see that it's not a clear right angle. They're just two scaling triangles. And so um, we can do by category or by length. So the first thing we want to do, um, I usually just do it by triangle. I can do Y meters per 42 meters equal to 15 meters per 63 meters. So I want you to notice that this length on the left is similar to the 15 meters, right? And then this length on the base is similar to the length on the base on the right. So I kind of organize it by category um, this way and then lengths that way. But you could do lengths this way and then categories that way. It's just how you always have set up your proportions. It's sh just do what's habitual for you. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly do this because now I can see y will be equal to 42 times the 15, and then I'm going to divide by 63. And of course, I don't do that in my head. I don't do any algebra. I let the calculator do all the work as I would if I was on a construction site or in the hardware store, and I get 10. So y is equal to 10 meters. And make sure you put the units. The units will be very important because units are important in life. So you have to make sure to always round correctly. Um, units.